Hi everyone. Welcome to the Bad Panda Baby. Okay, well, here we are, January 2012, and it's Canada. So you gotta know, it's cold. It's cold outside. But we've got no snow, which is a good thing. Um, however, it is BC, so we're getting a whole lot of sunshine. A whole lot. And I don't know if you can tell, but the window behind me is flooded with sunlight and warm as can be. In fact, I can tan on there, okay? And one of these days I'll do a video of me tanning. You'll be thrilled. Okay, maybe not. But anyway, I'm going to show you what you can do with water bottles. And if you're a good prepper, which you should be, because it is 2012 and we do not know where this world is going this year. If you're a good prepper, you have water bottles, okay? For storage and black garbage bags. Yeah, it's a given, right? Okay, it's a no-brainer. Water bottles. I bought these, I, I really can't remember where, um, 24 for about $249, really cheap folks. <laughs> I know it says natural spring water but with ozone added, but seriously, every time I buy water in a bottle, I just picture some little dwarf guy standing near a tap, just loading it and going, ha <laughs> ha, they're going to pay for this. Okay, so maybe it is, maybe it isn't, who knows, I can't not tell the difference, okay? But, this is what I need, and this is what I need, and I'm going to show you how to make a passive solar heater for generating some heat for your seedlings. Now, I want to start my tomato and pepper plants early this year. I've already got uh, spinach and mescaline lettuce mix in the window there, it's going to do great, not a problem. Um, but I wanted to do something that will warm the seedlings or, or the seed and the soil and passively keep it warm throughout during the night because when uh, I don't like to live in a fishbowl, do you? I don't. I really don't. You know that whole uh, buggy eyes and big lips and the whole Mick Jagger look. It doesn't work for me. But anyway, big window, lovely in the daylight. When the sun is shining, my whole wall here is just one big sunroom. It's fabulous. At night, you know, you gotta close it because you walk around naked, the neighbors see you, it's not a pretty sight. And I haven't gotten any proposals from doing that. Anyway, <laughs> we'll make a video about that one day. But anyhow, the point is, my window gets a whole ton of sun and it's got a huge ledge. So, I mean, it really is like a greenhouse window. Problem is, when I pull those drapes at night for privacy and my heat kicks in, the whole house is warm and comfortable. However, that heat does not reach those plants because the blinds act as kind of a buffer, right? Even though I have double glazed windows and, and they're not really cold, I would like them to retain some of that daytime heat. And you, you've got to know that. <laughs> As soon as the government figures out the sunlight is doing that, they're going to find a way to charge me. So let's take advantage of it while it's still free. So what I've done is I figured out a way to use, you know, my prepper items and make a little passive solar uh, heater for my plants. I'm going to walk you over to my table and I'm going to show you. Now, keep in mind, I'm doing this on my own. So I have to physically walk over there, take the camera and bring it to my table. But bear with me. It'll be worth your while. Bye. And here it is. <laughs> oh, God, I love this. Okay, so here's what I did. First of all, I have to tell you, um, I found a, a big styrofoam box that was being tossed out at work, and it had a lid, and I thought, you know, I am not a hoarder. I just don't hoard. But when I find things that I know, I may not have a reason to use them in the moment, but I know that down the road they will come in handy, I take them. I find a way to store them somewhere, but I take them. Anyway, this is the lid of a styrofoam box. Somebody had an orchard and they brought in a bunch of apples, and when the apples were gone, the box was left and we were supposed to toss it. So I salvaged. I don't store things for no reason. I salvage. There is a reason why I do that. Okay, so as it turns out, um, when I decided to make this thing, 
this passive, we'll call it technical, um, the passive solar heater germinator gizmo. Okay, so I brought it in from my shed. Yes, I do have a shed. <laughs> and um, I noticed when I laid the bottles down to try and see how they would work, because at first I thought I would only be able to do the edge. Turns out four down and four across fills the lid perfectly. Perfectly! How often does that happen in life? Not often, baby. Not often. This is good panda baby. This is not bad panda baby. This is good panda baby stuff. Okay, so I laid them out and here's what I did. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you don't have a styrofoam lid, do not worry. You can use, you can buy styrofoam containers at dollar stores now, so they're really cheap. But anyway, if you don't have something like this, not a problem. Cut a box down and lay your bottles in it. It'll be just fine. Okay, if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to use a box, you know what the next best thing is? Duct tape. Oh, baby, duct tape is a great product. I use it on a lot of stuff. And let me tell you, it is not just for holding witnesses and, and uh, hostages in your basement. It does muffle sound, however, really, really well. So if they scream, nobody hears them. And Okay, maybe we'll just move on. Um, anyhow, the last one I had in my trunk tried to scream and... Yeah, you couldn't hear... Okay. Um, anyway, duct tape. Yes, what were we talking about? Duct tape. Duct tape the bulbs, right? And slip them into your garbage bag. Not a problem. You do not have to have this. But I have it, so, you know, I used it. Anyway, here we go. So I laid out my bottles, and I took my garbage, my bag garbage. <laughs> Makes it a little more exotic, doesn't it? My bag de garbage. Okay, so slide it in. Just a big old sleeve. Slide that little puppy in. And there you go. Okay. So, here's the deal, okay? The black, it has to be black, okay? Because black absorbs heat. If you've ever had a black car with black seats, oh baby, you know, you know that kind of heat. That's the stuff that sears the skin off the back of your legs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the black, when the sun hits it, will absorb the heat, which will transfer to the water that is in the bottles. What will happen then is that water will be get, begin to get very, very warm. Now, during the day, it'll just keep heating it and heating it and heating it. Nothing will happen. Don't worry. The plastic won't bust or anything. If you do get a leak, however, you know, having styrofoam is <laughs> fabulous. But as long as you've got it in a plastic bag, it's not a problem. Um, so it will heat up. Now, what happens is at night, when, say, the temperature on the windowsill drops a little bit, the water that collected all that heat will start giving off that heat. It will release it, but it releases it slowly. So your germinating seeds, like these ones, these are my hot pepper, they're a mixed seed, and these are my long cayenne and my San Marzano. Oh my goodness, those are a beautiful paste tomato. And actually, you know what, I want to tell you, I'm not trying to plug them because I get no money from these people, but I ordered a bunch of seed from Salt Spring Island seed. If you're in Canada, you know where, where that is. It's, you know, off the coast of BC. Um, beautiful, beautiful seed. And they arrived like that. They were so quick. And they're all um, organic, non-hybrid, beautiful, beautiful seed. And San Marzano is a beautiful tomato for making paste, for making sauces. It's very rich and thick, kind of a plum shape. Beautiful tomato. And I've got a striped stuffer tomato. I have no idea what that is, but I picked up the seed because it just looked pretty, and pretty helps. It's the same thing I use to buy shoes. They're pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, and you know, I save my my plastic egg carton and just nip with my scissor a little bit to give it some uh, drainage. And don't worry about it. I mean, when you're watering them, and you won't have to water it much, and I'll show you why, but the water will go into these little channels and the sun will evaporate it, so eh, don't worry about it. And that's not an issue, okay? So this is how you want to start it. Plastic bag, water bottles. And by the way, if you don't want to use the bottles, uh, the water in there for drinking later on, 
when you finish this and you're putting your, your plants outside, that's fine. Use the water to water your plants, you know. And keep the containers because you want to fill them up next time. Now, I got this, which is, I don't know where it came from, but I had it, so it's mine. Nine-tenths of the law, they say. Okay, plunk that little puppy, puppy on top. And now what's that? What that's, it's kind of overlapping. Now, if I wanted to be really, really sticky about it, I could bring up this black garbage bag. And uh, I hate calling it a garbage bag. You know, it's growing food, not garbage. The garbage. Okay, so you could actually bring it up and tape it. Not really necessary. It's going to hold the moisture. And every other day or so, or every few days, just go in and give it a little mist if it's not. But this will act as a moisture barrier. And there you go. Put it in your sunny window. If you don't have an extremely sunny window, just use any window that has natural light. Um, and they're going to do just fine. You know, so you built yourself for practically nothing. Because good pandas will be saving this. Bad pandas will not have a water storage. Good luck to you when, you know, the you-know-what hits the fan if you don't have water. Um... So this is going to be a passive heater and it's not going to just heat the plants here. It's going to heat the plants that you already have on the windowsill. So it's going to radiate, you know, and uh, try it. I mean, what have you got to lose? You've got everything to gain. You can start your plants really early, um, give them warmth, give them what they need. They're not going to overheat because this is passive heat. So it's going to just radiate out. And just give them enough warmth to keep them going till the next day. When the sun comes out again, they're going to recharge. Okay, it's like a self-charging kind of hothouse. And it's wonderful. And it might cost you the price of a box of water bottles, whatever. I mean, everybody has garbage bags, right? How else do you dispose of those body parts when you... Okay, that's another subject altogether. But anyway, um, try it, guys. Try it. You're going to be happy. I'm going to keep you updated on how these do, and I know they're going to do well. And uh, have a great night, and remember, it's okay to run over the neighbor's cat, but it is a sin to waste food, so get cracking. Okay, Bad Panda, signing out. Bye.